Brought to you by AwesomeDrinks.com. It's Jen's birthday this month. Use coupon code JENS37 and save 15% on everything you purchase. Welcome to Call Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Charming. I would be the Curd. This week, we forgot to hit the record button for this episode, so Curd's already started making the drink. I ran up and got a knife, and he ended up cutting a lemon with a box cutter. You can it see the it all. the most epic thing I've ever done. Right. And none of you got to see it. Yeah. But you can, because if you I'm go to Ustream, stream. you go to Ustream.tv slash Everyday Drinkers, and we record everything. So you can watch it live. I, I, I cried I, tears a little bit. of happiness because of cutting a box cutter lemon. So, this is the scenario. That would be my punk rock band name. What? Box cutter lemon. Tears of, box, lemon? <laughs> tears of box cutter lemon. I no, it'd just that. be box cutter lemon. So to recap, we took the bowl, the recipe that was earlier, and we decided to change it to see if we can make it taste better. The Remove balls. The beer. So we called it the balls. Remove the beer. Added white whiskey. Added lemon because I ran out of lime. So mm-hmm. by doing so, we went with a darker spirit. Even though it's clear, it's still whiskey. Whiskey's got a little darker flavor to it. We went that paired with the lemon. Curd's building it now. Never had the drink. That's never going to work with that. It's way too big. Um, <laughs> it's dripping on your chin. It happens. Right. I was so, so excited about it. He's designed a cocktail <laughs> never even consumed before. No. He has no idea if it's going to work or not. This could be the shit, not the balls. <laughs> right? Did you use the triple sec? Yeah. We've used the triple sec or Cointreau. In Ice the me. process, Ice me. the curd ran out of ice. I cut open a whole new one from Monster Drink, so we have simple syrup. cut open a whole new ice? <laughs> Sorry, simple syrup. He's ran out of simple syrup. really, really confused. I'll fries a little bit. Is that all that? That's good. Um, we ran out of simple syrup. So I ran upstairs and got it during the episode that wasn't taping. We, no, we missed it. We're just going to cut a knife. This is way too I complicated. We can just go back to the basic idea that Derek fucked up, did, and did not start recording. And you're redoing the drink. And the drink is all right here. <laughs> Highlighting, though, the fact that you, you just see the live stream of him cutting a, a, a lemon with a box cutter. Amazing. Amazing. Don't look at Giant with a box of shaker. <laughs> <laughs> this is what bartending looks like on uh, with giant people. Yeah. Oh, we're just gonna apparently. How come that's so lo- little of a drink? Because I haven't. Keep going. What are you gonna do? Straight pour simple syrup in there? Yeah. yeah. So you're topping this with club soda. Instead yep. of beer. And uh, this is gonna taste awful. You need bitters? Original recipe called for beer. The, instead of beer, we're using water. Quite different from the original Sapporo that was used in here, which actually I think would have complemented well. If you would have used a harder lager, I think it would have been more disgusting. Would have been like better. Okay. Let's see if I totally screwed up. What was it, up. a half ounce so of everything? I, it's a half ounce. You stuck with, no, it's an ounce of everything. It's, no. no. Half of the white whiskey. Yep. One ounce of the gin. Yep. Half ounce of the Cointreau. Okay. Ounce of simple, ounce of lemon. So you balance And the then lemon. I top with soda water. You balance the sweet and the sour. So do I do I chase this with this? No, no, just. Is there like any type of? I'm going here? to hit you. <laughs> Go ahead. Drink it. Whoa, you can taste them. You can taste the the ethanol burn of the white whiskey. You only use a half ounce of white whiskey in there. Mm-hmm. Where's my Where's my white rum? There is no white rum. Oh, that's the original one. Yep. So you just got out my white rum altogether. Mm-hmm. The Morgan? You removed the Morgan. I removed the Morgan. So let me chase it. Hold on. It doesn't taste like the original. Hmm. Okay, so what did we do with the original? You got the original over there, Jen? The original what? Yeah. Drink? Okay, can you give us a definitive, if you like, you which like one do you like better? I didn't like the original. So that's kind of already kind of there. She doesn't like that one. Anything else besides yeah, somebody horrible. else's urine Whoops. should taste fine. The big thing that we're looking for is that balanced. It tastes like a white whiskey cocktail. Yeah, that's much better. Tastes like lemonade. That's what. But but tastes better. Is it balanced though? It's alcoholic lemonade. It's still sour. Yeah, it's balanced. It's more sour than sweet, don't you think? The problem with that one that I had was the beer. So if you put beer on the top of that one, I may not like that one either, though. Yeah, beer is the recipe. But Um, I could. But that one, that one tastes good. It tastes to me like a white whiskey recipe. This is kind of like a, a, a cooler of fizz. A lemon. Yeah. It, it, like you know what? The, the the water didn't diminish the the flavor enough, a no. lot. Because that's that's why sometimes you add like a, a carbonated water and it just flattens and flattens a bad word, but it makes it very boring. Yeah. 
almost watered down. So do it, did it live up to its name? Is it the balls? The balls. It's pretty good. It's like balls. It's, balls. it's like a lemonade. It's like a, a a poolside lemonade ball. Yeah. Oh, it's like a poolside ball. But this is like a Kentucky, a Kentucky juniper. Oh, that would if it was I was really gonna name it, I'd call it a Kentucky juniper. I don't taste any juniper here. Yeah, I don't taste juniper. It has an ounce of gin in it. I know, but I'm I don't sorry. Taste it. I don't I even know. like gin, but I don't taste it. Um, a little bit right before the bourbon kicks in, I think it's a little a little um. Not bourbon, white whiskey. White whiskey kicks in, yeah. Um. It's got that. It's still got the same acidity level, though. Like what you want to keep now, drinking. Now I know that you love bitters. Now bitter sits as an aromatic on top of this. So if I was going to do an aromatic yeah, off the top of this, you use August or uh, uh, no? Hand me the lavender bitters. Oh, that's a good idea. I like lavender. Um, I have like a bunch of like, lavender. This is going to be bad because there's already soda water in this. I don't suggest doing this at home. Why? Because you should always do this at home. You know what? We'll just do it that way. You should always do this at home. Lavender. Okay. Yeah. Scrappies makes really fucking good bitters. And they're potent. Like, you yeah. don't need a lot of them. So two dashes of Scrappies. So you're just looking to bring up the aroma level? Yeah, so that's... It's flowering, right? That's what you're shooting for. You're always... Bitters should be either a bonding agent between things that don't work, or it should be an aroma agent to help give you something that's not there right now. It's like dry hopping. So here's your first <laughs> indication. Off the nose, it's way, way better. Smells like a flower. Yeah. No, dude, it's it's kind of like a, a green. <laughs> I can't really explain it, but it smells. No, it, it smells. That's the balls on on aroma right there. Like that. There's nothing I've had that smells like that. Taste that up. smells so natural. It, this is like a Brazilian. Oh, 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 no wait. It's like a not Brazilian. It's natural. <laughs> But it doesn't it doesn't impact the flavor too much. No, it doesn't. No. It's okay, just, so it's, it keeps it. In your, it keeps it in your um. Like God, I have to get up again. Oral olfactory, it kind of like processes. There's a little bit more depth to it. Yep. It doesn't taste as much like lemonade anymore. No. It tastes. She I doesn't like it. it. She doesn't like it now. Mm-hmm. So you're more of the lemonade guy. I I like the dynamic difference in that flavor because I don't get lemonade. If I was going to do this, I would squeeze it back and I would put it into a coupe glass. Like this is a little more fancy. Yeah, but that's up. a lot of a lot of liquid. Not really. <laughs> There's a shit ton of liquid in there. But this is fancy. Where the other one it works for the Collins. So this is fancy. The other one was redneck. Yeah. Yeah. It, it doesn't really matter how you swing it. It has you know. But you just designed a completely different cocktail out of it. You took away the beer. Which is the modifying agent that was killing the last drink? You basically just said, you know what doesn't work in here? Beer. Let's remove it. Obviously, you do it. You I did a lot more than that. If you took that, if that was recipe, a vehicle, it started its life as an Impala and ended up as a lowrider. <laughs> no, yeah. but, but <laughs> I, no, I like you know what I'm saying? Know. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. So, but it wasn't the same drink if you didn't use. That. Do you have a uh, question of the day, Jen? No. Okay, question of the double day, because we've done this twice oh, today. Yeah, but we forgot the question last time. Um, how do you guys like when we hit the, should we get like a red easy button for Derek and once a week be able to push the red button to be able to fix the problems that are but, sent to us? But every time you push it, it means I have to make another cocktail. I know. <laughs> so, <laughs> let us know what you guys think of the easy button. So, okay? Uh, all right. That is the question of the day. Mm-hmm. My name's Curtis McMillan. This is Derek Schomer. Awesome drinks.com. Which is shadow drink. <laughs>